The first thing that we've got to recognise is that everything that I'm saying sits in a context. That context is democracy. I promise you, the Muslims are trying to do the same. Not all of them, obviously, but a political few amongst them. So are atheist militants, political militants. If these other groups can seek and do seek to gain control of shepherding authorities and influencers in our society and to bend those shepherding influencers and authorities in our society to their agenda, we Christians can do the same. Let's be clear, there is no neutral space. Neutrality is a myth of the Enlightenment. It is a lie of the Enlightenment. It is a misappropriation and a misapplication of the idea of scientific inquiry to the socio-political world. It is only true in the material sciences. It is not true outside of those material sciences. And Christ knew this well when he said, you are either for me or you are against me. You are either gathering in or you are scattering abroad. If you are a disciple of Christ, or you take what Jesus Christ said seriously, then you don't believe in neutral grounds, in economics, in politics, in law, in culture, or in any institution of society. Is that extremism? Is that extremism? Some people might call it that, but I don't care about the labels. Next question. How many words make a salad? Any intelligent question? <laughs> what he's saying is absolute power of Christians and bishops. Sorry? What he's saying is the absolute power of Christianity over the country and politics. Yeah? Yes. And there it comes corruption. Yes. Power corrupt. You can't guarantee you cannot guarantee that those people will not corrupt. Yeah. So let me let me address that question. And this will be the final question and I'll, I'll take a break. So, it is something that we've learned politically in the West. That power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And so, learning that lesson from history, whilst I do want Christianity to govern the entire state, I agree with the idea of a separation of powers. So that... Even though Christians make up the legislature, the government, and the courts, I do believe that the powers that these three bodies have, including the church as a fourth constitutional body, should all be separate, distinct, and not overlapping, so that no particular office has absolute power. Okay, thank you very much. Good talking to you.